Ever wonder why your trike chews through tires faster than a drunk through pork rinds? One minute is fresh rubber, the next is smoother than my buddy Dave's scalp at bike night. It ain't bad luck, it's just physics. And stick with me, because at the end, I'll show you one trick that riders use to double their tires life. And as always, let's ride. If you've been on a freewheeler for a while, you probably look down and say, what the hell? I just put this tire on and it's already going bald? You're not imagining it. Freewheelers and trikes in general burn through front rubber faster than two wheelers. It's not a quality flaw. It's just the way the front end works. On a trike, the steering forces hammer that tire unlike your friend's two-wheeler. By the end, you'll know exactly why your trike demands more rubber up front. And it's not a defect, it's just the way these beasts are built. Let's crack a beer and strip this thing down. Step one, forget what you know from two wheels. On a regular motorcycle, that front tire doesn't just steer, it leans. When you push into a curve, that bike rolls over and the side of that tire helps to carve that line. The rubber wears evenly because you're using the entire profile of that tire over time. Straight, lean left, lean right, like spreading the love across the tire. On a trike, forget it, that tire ain't leaning ever. It's flat footing the road all the time, like a linebacker planting his cleats in the turf. Every ounce of turning force goes through the face of that tread. The tire's whole job changes. On two wheels, steer and lean. On a trike, steer only. And steering without leaning means more friction. More friction equals heat. More heat equals wear. Welcome to the trike life. Okay, let's talk steering geometry. Sounds like an engineer's TED talk, but really, it's how your forks are angled and how your tire sits under them. Here's the beer level breakdown. Great, that's the tilt of your forks. Imagine your bike sitting on level ground. Draw an imaginary line straight down from your steering head. Now, compare that to where your forks actually point. The further they point out, the more rake you got. Choppers equals more rake. Sports bikes, less rake. Trail. This one's trickier, but stay with me. Draw a straight line where your forks connect to your tires, the hub. Now draw a straight line along the angle of your forks. So the distance between the straight line and the angle of the fork, that's called the trail. Why does it matter? More trail equals stable as a freight train, but harder to steer. Less trail equals easier to steer, but less stable. On a freewheeler, Harley jacked up the rake and the trail to make the trike more stable. Why? Because if they hadn't, you feel like you've been wrestling a pissed off bull. Trikes don't counter steer like two wheelers, so Harley had to make the steering geometry slower and steadier. That's great for control, but it also means that your front tire is dragging sideways like a plow through the dirt. More drag equals more wear. Think of it like this. You and your buddy are sitting in a bar with two beer bottles. You roll one straight down the counter. That's your two-wheeler leaning on a curve. Smooth, minimal friction. Now, grab the other bottle and try to push it sideways without letting it roll. Feel that drag? That's your trike's front tire every time you crank the handlebars. It ain't rolling through the turn. It's being shoved through it. And yeah, you can actually hear the rubber screaming. Let's break it down biker style. Two wheels, lean equals steering. Tire wear spreads across the entire profile of that tire. Front tire mainly guides, not resists. The gyro effect of the wheels keeps you balanced. Three wheels, trikes, no lean, steering is all muscle. Tire scrubs across the asphalt instead of rolling clean. Front tire takes all the lateral load, like a one-man band carrying the whole gig. Rear wheels push straight, while the front tire fights to redirect the whole rig. Result, your freewheeler's front tire is working overtime while your rear tires are sitting back, chilling, sipping on margaritas, wearing down evenly like a lacy Sunday. Now, let's zero in on the freewheeler. Unlike the tri-glide, which is bigger and heavier up front because it has a bat wind fairing, the freewheeler runs light up front. Less weight means less wear, right? Wrong. Because the freewheeler is naked up front, Harley Dean softened the rake and trail as much. They wanted stability without making you feel that you were arm wrestling a gorilla in every curve. So you gotta compromise. It steers better than a triglide, but the steering forces still grind that tire faster than you expect. Also, think about how most freewheelers are ridden. 
Shorter bars equals more direct input, more muscle turn instead of body lean. Riders tend to cruise the twisties and back roads harder than their two wheel counterparts. All of that ups to, you guessed it, front tires going bold before their time. Here's a demo you can try without getting arrested. Find an empty parking lot on your buddy's two-wheel bike. Do a slow U-turn. The bike leans in, the handlebars barely move, and the front tire just glides. Now, do the same slow U-turn on a freewheeler. That front tire is scrubbing sideways against the pavement, squealing under its breath. That's why it eats rubber faster. You're basically sanding the rubber down every time you ride. The hidden villain, tire design. Motorcycle tires are built round and smooth because they're meant to lean. On a trike, you're never using the side. You're grinding the middle flat. So before wear sets in, the tires design ain't helping. Some riders switch to car tires on the front, called the dark side setup, because car tires are built for flat, planet turning. They last longer, but you sacrifice some handling sharpness. It's a trade-off, like everything else in this lifestyle. Can you fix it? Short answer, not really. It's the nature of the beast, but you can make choices to expand the tire's life. Proper air pressure, under inflation, makes the wear even worse. Smooth steering inputs, yanking the bars exaggerate the scrubbing. Tire upgrades, some aftermarket tires are built tougher for trikes. Dark side conversion, controversial but popular. Car tires do last longer. At the end of the day, your freewheeler will still lead up more rubber than most two-wheelers. It's just the cost of entry into the three-wheel club. All right, let's sum this up in biker speed. Your freewheeler's front tire wears fast because it doesn't lean, it plows. Rake and trail are set up for stability, which means the front tire drags more in turns. Two-wheelers spread the love all the way across the whole tread. Trikes grind the middle flat. Physics ain't negotiable. Three wheels just work differently. So when you're swapping out your front tire faster than your two-wheel buddies, just remember, it ain't bad luck. It isn't hardly screwing you. It's just the beast of riding. And hey, look at the bright side. That ball tire up front is proof you've been riding hard, muscling through every road like the freewheeler was built to ride. If you got value from this video, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button and watch this next video and I'll see you there.